Hey everyone, gonna continue. Uh, this time we have chapter 9. And uh, I have checked it out, uh, come up with a strategy and all that, uh, but I have not read uh, the story stuff before, so let's do that first. So we drove Narshan away, fuck that guy. Would be more fun to kill him though. Uh, we brace ourselves for further attacks from Burn. However, uh, Burns' belligerent movements towards Lycia come to an abrupt halt, as if to mock Roy in his caution. Burn also maintains a neutral position on an offer of a treaty from Etruria. Burn's sudden silence and a lack of activity can only be described as eerie. With Hector gone, Ferrey is now the greatest power in Lycia. <laughs> Ellie with the fucking schemer uh, summons the Council of Marcuses to Ferrey to discuss future actions. It is decided that Elliewood is to lead the Council of the Elysian League. Holy shit. Like Darth Elliewood over here taking over the world. A new Elysian army is also to be established. This new army's purpose is not to take the offensive against Burn, but rather take a defensive stance for Lycia. Owing... Uh, yeah, owing. To his victory against Burn in Ostia, Roy is chosen leader of this new army. Gradually, the attitude and morale in Lycia begins to improve. People once again conduct businesses without fear, and they embrace a new optimism. At this time, Etruria called for Lysias' assistance. The kingdom needs help with restoring law to the Western Isles. Many outlaws make their bases there, and anarchy is said to rule. Many in Lycia are uneager to send their troops to the Isles to deal with bandits, but having received Etruria's aid in Ostia, they have no choice but to oblige. Thus, Roy and the Lycian army pass through Etruria towards the Isles. The Western Isles are the numerous islands off the western coast of Elib. Presently they are colonies of Etruria. The Western Isles are rich in resources, so mining is a major industry here, as uh, Fur told us. However these, resources are re <coughs> However, these resources are worth a fortune. Inevitably, varied bands of rogues travel there hoping to loot the mines. As such, the people of the Western Isles live in constant fear of bandit attacks. Roy is sent to vanquish these bandits. Alright, uh, so, very unusual that we go through some battles against the, like, real enemy army, and then we go on a fucking bandit arc. Uh, okay, uh, I'll be back in a second. So we're ready with, uh, our battle prep and our strategy. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna try to level Roy up a little bit. Uh, most of our other units, uh, like, several of our units are promoted, so they barely get any EXP. Uh, and I think I would like Roy to, um, like, I just want him to be a little bulkier, so he doesn't die as easily. Uh, we are almost out of heal staves, actually, I didn't realize this. I thought I had one more. Uh, so Lilina can only heal 11 times. <laughs> the other staff users have better staves. So Saul can mend, he can also physic. He's the only one who can cast physic, so he holds it. Clarine has the torch staff, which kind of sucks in this game. So it works like the torch item works in uh, Fire Emblem 7, so it just lights around you. But she doesn't really want to scout ahead, so it's not that great on her. But she can use it. Uh, we're also bringing uh, Astor for the thief's extra vision. You can actually move him around a bit, like during battle preps to see the area around here, which I have done. We are going to, uh, like I said, try to train Roy a bit, um, keep building a bit of support with Lilina, uh, work on her staff rank. Uh, I've decided to give her the secret book because uh, she, has, she does have pretty high hit, anima magic is pretty accurate, her skill of 10 is decent. But she never gets weapon triangle advantage, so it's rare that she reaches 100 hit. So I'm gonna give it to her. Maybe that's a mistake, maybe she's just not gonna have hit problems once the support with Roy goes up, but... I don't think the secret book is all that valuable anyway. Um, actually, let, let me double check that. Alright, so I looked it up. So once Roy and Lilina support goes up, to A rank, uh, she will get an extra 10 hit. Uh, she often hovers around 80 hit, so I think giving the secret book to her is still uh, still the right choice. So we're gonna go ahead with the intended strat. Oh yeah, uh, one more thing. We're bringing Noah. Uh, there's no way to know this at the start, so it's sort of like a restart bait, but Fur is gonna be around here somewhere in this map, and you can only recruit her by talking to her with Noah, I think. 
Uh, I tried talking to her with Roy, didn't work. Um, so I'm guessing Noah is the one we need. Because uh, he talked to her before. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Like, uh, she's a cute anime girl in Fire Emblem. Like, of course she's gonna be recruitable. <laughs> like, what the hell do you think? The Mighty Isle. No, the Misty Isles, not Mighty. I'm not gonna voice these guys. This is like, whatever. Uh, this, these guys are just so evil, they're bandits, who cares? Uh, sneak up from where they can't see and finish them. Sure thing, boss. Uh, Roy, I'm sorry I can stop this. This isn't your responsibility, silly. I don't concern yourself. So they have a High Chancellor in Etruria. I thought they had a king. I guess they have a High Chancellor too. Oh, Roy actually questioning the same thing. Actually, he didn't. High Chancellor Wartz. Oh, he's so fucking evil. Lord Arcardo, he's probably evil too. Arcardo and fucking Wartz, they're evil, I promise. Because like they have two generals, right? And Cecilia and Percival are both they look they just look so nice. So obviously the, th the third general is super evil to balance them out. Because we're gonna have to fight in Etruria too for sure. The noble who heads the mining operations here in the Western Isles. They made a decision without consulting the king. They have the power, how? Did you hear the tragedy that occurred in Etruria last year? The tragedy of Etru Etrusker? <laughs> Murden, next in line to be king, abruptly passed away last year. Yes, that's it. Hmm, shouldn't have gone to Belhalla. Was a very bright individual. Yes, were the prince alive, Etruria would surely not be in a sad shape. King Mordred! King Mordred! Was overcome with sorrow when his son departed. I wonder if Mordred is a boss. Like, <laughs> No good king has ever been named Mordred. The shock was so great that he has yet to recover of late. It seems he's always detached from reality. Okay, maybe he's just gonna fucking die off screen, I don't know. He pays no mind to anything ha happening around him or in the kingdom. Rorts is exploiting the king's condition for his own benefit. Now he's essentially in charge of the goings on in the palace. He keeps the three Etrurian generals Percival, Douglas, and myself. Douglas doesn't sound evil. I thought Rorts or whatever was gonna be uh, the general. Uh, great urgency. Douglas doesn't sound evil. Hmm. It sounds like, you know, maybe he could be evil, I don't know. But what about when you came to our aid in Ostia? That was an exception because I had Percival behind me. But I'm sorry, I didn't have the cloud. I didn't have the cloud? What the hell? Isn't that... <laughs> Isn't that a very modern word? Is that, an... Is that a fucking old word? Cloud. Word. Let's look this up. Old English. A patch or metal plate. Uh, that's not what clout works in... Uh, that's not what clout means in Old English, dude. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, this, this gives me a big anachronistic shock, to be honest. Cecilia. E-girl Cecilia. Working on that clout. Don't blame ya. We'll return to Lycia as soon as we complete our mission here. <laughs> I'm realizing I am so inconsistent when I say Lycia or Lycia. But please, I only ask that you take care of Lycia in our absence. You needn't ask. The Lycian League is in safe hands, as is Princess Guinevere. Well, she's here? <laughs> what? <laughs> she's in safe hands, by the way, she's here. Oh, she oh they're gonna leave. Okay, I get it. The battles on these I Wh Why are you even gonna come along? Like, you're not gonna fight anyway. I can't predict what might happen. You should stay in hiding in Etruria with General Cecilia's protection. You can trust me, your highness. I know you want to choose to end this war. Is Roy a your highness now? Oh, she's talking to Guinevere. <laughs> it's a little confusing when she doesn't turn around. Thank you, your highness. I will pray for yours as well. Alright, here we go. We're gonna turn off animations because this isn't too exciting, honestly. Uh, Roy just stands here, Lindana stands here, um, pop the secret book, uh, hit goes up a little bit, mm, and here we want, uh, let's see, let's equip the steel sword here. What we're gonna do is go here, we're going to drop Rutger on this side, uh, 
Shanna stands here, and then we are going to be ready to drop Clarine over to the next side as well by just picking her up here. Uh, Asper can go here to scout, and we really don't need to do anything else this turn. This is a pretty funny house. Among the pirates is a very skilled nomad. You can't see him through all this fog, but he also has a girl with him. Like, <laughs> what is this Simon's Quest ass dialogue? Uh, so this guy won't go for Rutger because he can attack Roy. Skadoosh. Aw, oh, man. That doesn't really help his bulk. So, what happened uh, on my, like, trial run here <laughs> is that Roy got amazing level ups, and now it's kind of sad that he doesn't get that. So, I guess uh, for now, Roy just stays here, actually. Uh, we're going to attack. Uh, heal with Lenina, because why not? Uh, Marcus is in support range of Roy. Alan can move out of the way. Uh, give to Shanna. Uh, let's see, we... Rutger wants to stand here, so... We drop Irene here, and then Shanna starts going up here. So, this is interesting, right? Like, there are two archers up here. Uh, we actually need Aster to scout this. Uh, there are two archers here. Both of them need to hit her to kill her. So, if she just goes up to the one with more attack, which is this one, and just attacks him, it's very likely she actually takes all these guys on her own. Which is pretty damn good, so we're gonna try it. But there is a chance she dies, but... They have about 60 hit on her, the split hit, with the bows, so... It's alright, I think. Scott! Scott the Wasp is here. Sorry to call you in, what's going on out there? The island's up. The island is under attack by pirates. They can't kill the people living here. Uh, send some guys over, try and stop them, but the pirates are very skilled. The outlook isn't good. I can't believe it. I'd like to fight them myself, but I can't leave this castle. Fur, I'm sorry, but can you go in my place? Yes, I'll go and purge the people of these pirates. Thanks. Anyone who attacks innocent villagers will get no mercy from me. Someone you can work with. The Nomad Shin. He's a little skinny, but he's a decent shot with his bow. People say Shin is good. It's this guy, right? Heard everything from Scott. Let's go. <laughs> so, uh... Are you here to protect the villagers? Nah. <laughs> Why are you here? Money. <laughs> Awkward silence. I need to keep the conversation going. Uh, you're from Sake, right? Right. What brings you all the way here? Nothing special. Look at from Sake yourself. As for me, I'm traveling around the Leeb to train myself and... Oh, you didn't ask about me, did you? Sigh. Hey. I'm looking for someone. Who? My clan was crushed by Burn when they invaded Sake. Our chieftain had me escape and told me to find and protect his granddaughter. I'm still in search of her. I see. Well, I hope you find her. Me too. So that's actually, that's actually kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> Fur just assumes he's gonna ask back, and he doesn't, but she just answers anyway, and then goes, ah, <laughs> oops. <laughs> Boss, you sure? I mean, that girl won't have any chance. I know what I'm doing. Once she's killed, we can take that sword she's carrying. That sword? That weird one she has? It's not just any weird sword, it's a Wu Dao, famous blade from the east. It's worth a fortune, hey. <laughs> So, could you really not do anything to her? I mean, I guess she would just crit you to death with that thing. It has 40 crit, it's pretty crazy. And with her dodginess, like, yeah, she would just double and kill all y'all. Maybe we're gonna have her kill the boss with that sword, just because that would be kind of funny. Alright. Low HP there, but that's, like, whatever. I actually hit Roy. Interesting. So we're no longer worried about, uh, let's see, uh, leveling Lilina. Uh, like, we're, it, we'll, we'll let her keep getting levels, but we're not, like, prioritizing EXP on her. But we do want to get her staff rank up. I think he will surely attack Roy still, right? He's not going to attack Lilina. What's this guy's deal? 19 damage. 
Antitoxin. <laughs> There's no way that's actually valuable, right? There's no way. Iron Sword is a little cheaper, so that's it. So here, this is a little scary, but uh, if I'm right, uh, they will actually the axe guys will move first, and they will actually block the second bow guy from attacking. If we go here, you'll see. So what do we do here? <laughs> we want to get Noah up, but oh, yeah, he can actually go here. Ah, uh, whatever. End it. Ow! Outstanding movement order. Oh no, now we can't reach him. Uh, just let him follow us, doesn't matter. See, now the second uh, archer can't actually attack Shanna. Did I take the right one? Yeah, I did. Uh, so she takes... Uh... Oh, she actually takes exactly 18. Well, let's hope she levels up defense here. That's so unlikely. But it's not very likely she gets hit either. Oh, she didn't level up. <laughs> Oops. Well, we'll see what happens here. I, I think she's got it. We'll see. Actually, no, you know what? That's kind of stupid. Let's heal her with Saul, actually. Oh, no! I accidentally hit wait. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I think this is a really easy map, but it seems like we might have to reset because uh, we did something really fucking stupid. Oh, support. Lilina. Lilina! What's the matter? You were spacing out again. Stop being so fucking... <laughs> Lilina, stop being stupid. We've come so far. I'm not talking about distance. It's just that everything seems to have changed so quickly. Do you remember back when you first came to Austria to study? Of course, it was two years ago. Or was it three years ago? Our dads were still alive, Lysa was peaceful, no one could have predicted the war, it was only a few years ago, but it feels like an eternity. I just listen to me, there's no going back to those days, is there? A support, they invented the time machine. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll mend. There are shops on this map, so we can probably buy more staves. Luck and defense. That's actually good. But the defense is nice, but, you know, could stand to have some HP, too. Oh, no one in range. Master plan. Deke runs along. Uh, let's just make sure Merlin is in range. Yeah, that's fine. Astor, yeah, that's fine. Astor has an iron sword and a steel sword. I don't plan on having him like fight much or anything, but just in case, he can use those weapons pretty well. Skill, speed, luck, res. Those are some good uh, stats. Does make her slightly dodgier. Now dodge that archer. Come on, Shanna, dodge that bow. Oh, interesting uh, maneuver. Come on, dodge it. Yes. This time we <laughs> won't forget to heal. So we can move down three tiles, right? Here we go. First physic of the run. So I forgot that this was the contingency I had in case she got hit. And uh, she got hit and I just forgot to do it. She got a great level up. She didn't get strength, which she did get on uh, my trial run, but it's fine. This fucking guy. So I want to leave someone... Can he attack Marcus' square? No, right? He can't move on to this one. So we want to leave someone here. I guess that someone is Roy. This is a little annoying. Can Clarine go? No, she can't go there yet. 
No one needs to hurry up because Fur is about to get here. We're gonna cast the torch. Uh, I don't really care about conserving the torch staff because it seems like it kind of sucks. Uh, oh. Oh. Well. That was the blunder. Yeah, that's out of range. That is out of range. Alright, this is probably gonna be a reset. Silly mistake. Should have cast uh should have cast that earlier. But whatever, we'll see if they dodge, if they do, we will just keep playing. Otherwise we'll restart and I'll play up to this point off camera. I don't think he'll attack Astor over Wolf. But it's just one EXP anyway, who cares? Alright, dodge it! Yeah! Oh, he blocked the uh, guy who could actually kill her. Awesome. Oh, he can do that. What the hell? <laughs> Double miss! Oh, okay. Chlorine has uh, drowned. <laughs> I'll be back in a second. And we're back one turn earlier. Uh, let's see here. So Roy got a speed level up this time, which lets him double some of the pirates, actually. Uh, Kareen got an amazing level up. She got uh, everything except magic, pretty much. Uh, didn't get defense, though. Okay. So <laughs> she got a lot of stats. Uh, not that it really matters on her. Uh, let's see. So Saul is still in range to heal Shanna, right? Yeah, easy. We can move down. We don't need to move that far, actually. Okay, so one up there. That should reach. There we go. Physics such a good staff. It should give more staff EXP, dude. And now we uh, kill this guy. Hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> and then this guy will suicide into her and she will level up. But she's at full health almost. Like, this guy can't kill her even if he hits. Which is nice. It is nice indeed. Uh, 10, 13, that doesn't matter. Oh yeah, I could have healed Rutger first. Uh, I did activate Torch on Clarine. Can this guy reach there? No. She can stand here, I'm pretty sure it was safe. There we go. Oh, no. Roy wants to stand there! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eh. So here we have the dudes. Uh, let's see. Alan is carrying Deke here, actually. Um, I think we'll carry him one more turn. Astro will run along. Merlinus will scamper boot. And this time we are uh, ready to not <laughs> put Clarine in danger here. It's pretty funny, if we put her on the forest, she actually... Uh, the axe users actually have zero hit against her. Which is... <laughs> it's kind of funny to imagine Clarine, like, riding around in this tiny forest with, like... <laughs> three guys with huge axes chasing her and they just can't do anything. We have the forest surrounded, you better surrender! And she's like, fuck you! <laughs> Stick it to the man. So Shanna really needs strength still. She's accurate, has good movement, she's a flyer, she's fast. It's like, if we find one of those plus two strength rings, she's probably the best user of it. Like, if she had plus two strength here, she still wouldn't kill. Uh, she would if she had a better sword, but she will once she gets her sword rank up. Let's see, so what can we do here? Uh, Roy can actually fight this guy, can he kill him? 13, come on. No, he only does 7. He can't. But he could get some EXP, possibly. Uh, let's see, if Rutger kills this guy... I considered giving the light brain to Rutger, but it really sucks in this game. 
Yes! The goat. So in the other GBA games, it halves your strength for ranged attacks, which is like not great, but it still like does something. Oh wait, doesn't he get plus damage if Lilina is close? I think he does. I think he does. Hmm. I don't... Is anyone in range? Let's move up Aster and see what we can see. Let's just block the way with uh, these guys, I guess. Doesn't seem like anyone is there. We don't see very well, though. So I'm thinking Clarine goes here. This guy doesn't have a hand axe. Uh, heals Rutger, then uh, Lilina goes up here, heals Clarine, and Roy goes up here with the attack boost from being next to Lilina. And he... Oh, does he get plus two attack, though? I think so? I think so, but... Uh... Let's find out. Like, even if uh, it turns out Roy can't kill, it's not like this uh, really that bad. We can just send in someone else. I think they get plus one power per support level, so Roy should kill this guy now. Oh, support again? Wait, why didn't we... Oh, right, right, we didn't support on this attempt, that's right. Okay, what if Marcus is also there? <laughs> Nope, doesn't do it. Doesn't fucking do it. Can Lance not kill him? Nope, Lance super kills him. Can no one not kill him? Yes. And the, let's see, no left at 16. This guy is not gonna hit him, let's be honest. We'll risk it. <laughs> I really wanna get EXP on Roy. I really wanna do it. It's pretty funny. We can't support and then attack, unfortunately. Look at that, it gets like half a level from one kill. It's pretty good. Uh, just ball of death up here. Uh, <laughs> Saul. We should have... Uh, uh, yeah, we should have let him uh, ride with one of the horses. I think the archer up there can't actually attack Shanna because of move order. Oh no, he can because of move order. Well, she's about to kill this archer, and then she'll easily deal with these axe dudes. So let's see. Oh, right, that's why... She, so he does get plus one attack per level with Lilina. We just... I just didn't support this time. I don't think anyone can attack Roy here. Uh, but if it turns out someone can, we can rescue him. So that's nine. Who can weaken him? has a poison axe, it doesn't matter. Uh, that's not enough. What about Lance? Lance probably just kills him. Yep! <laughs> Lance too strong. He's nerfed. Uh, we don't want to like put Deke somewhere where Fur will attack him and just die. Because I'm pretty sure Deke just destroys Fur. Maybe giving Roy EXP on this turn is just too hard. What does this guy have? A poison axe? Uh, let's just attack him. Let's just box this guy in. Oh wow, he hit him and uh, got the poison. So that's Fur, there, that's where she is. Uh, we cannot recruit her on this turn. And she is threatening Roy, the king. One, two, three, four, five. She can actually go here. Mm, so she can attack this forest. So we need to back off on this turn. Let's see. Uh, he can stay there, that's fine. Just box this guy. Uh, just block this guy. We're not really boxing him. It would be nice to support, but we also want to heal. That's more important right now. I think they keep building support points, even though we haven't talked yet. So keep on running. 
Mertonus doesn't really matter here. Um, Marcus here, I guess, and Astor here for vision. Shanna kills this guy. Wow, Shanna's doing so much work this map. Like, look, even with fucking triple effectiveness archers, like, Flyers are just so good. She, I did give her an, an Angelic Robe, but like, who else can use the Angelic Robe this well? Just clear this part on their own. Um, use the torch for EXP, why not? So it gives 15 EXP. So it's 150 EXP if we use all of it. Uh, just wait there. Don't let fur. Don't let fur attack anyone. No, don't kill yourself, man. Oh, okay, it's fine. Skadoosh. It is annoying how many of these enemies have uh, two range. Oh, that's actually really good. Roy can just keep taking damage and being healed by uh, his cute mage GF. All right, critical, critical Pegasus. I don't think there's like any gotta go fast uh, thing on this map. So let's see if we're right and we actually can recruit her. Like surely this is what we have to do. Talk. Yes, that's the recruitment music. Sir Noah, what are you doing here? I joined this army back in Ostia. Whoa, what are you doing? Sheath your sword. Sir Noah, you aren't the noble man I thought you were. I know you're a mercenary, but leading, <laughs> lending your services to pirate. So, is is the story here that she genuinely thinks we're the pirates? Like, how does she not look around and be like, oh, these guys with fucking sailor shirts and bandanas around their head, they couldn't possibly be the pirates. Probably these, like... <laughs> probably these fucking cavaliers. I'm sure they're the pirates. Seabound horses, the most uh, <laughs> most meta of pirate tactics. What? Don't act like you don't know. You're working with pirates to attack the people living here. You call yourself a knight? Hold on, I think there's been some kind of misunderstanding. You still have the nerve. We're trying to help the villagers. Our goal is to defeat the head of the pirate group here. His name is Scott, I think. <laughs> what? Scott is head of the pirates? What? Sure is. If you don't believe me, why don't you ask the pirate over there? The one behind you, hiding in the bushes. Pirate? What pirate? Oh shit! The plan failed! We <laughs> gotta go tell the boss! <laughs> you didn't suspect him at all? No, he was kind. <laughs> uh, my mother always said that you shouldn't judge a person by their looks. Carla, best mom confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, fur. <laughs> If a pirate is nice to you, then kill innocent civilians. <laughs> That's one of my rules. I was fighting for pirates this whole time, what should I do? Do you want to come with us? Truly, can I? We're always looking for new recruits to bolster our strength. I'll talk to Roy for you. Thank you. Alright. Oh, fuck! No! I just realized... We're gonna have to bring Sue for Shin! Fucking damn it. Alright, um... I don't think we need Merlinus, maybe? I don't know. Uh, we probably do. Oh, man. Alright, we're, uh... We're replaying this again. And, uh... Fucking damn it. Ugh, alright. I'll, I'll replay up to this point again off-screen, because I just realized... We're gonna need Sue to recruit Chin, aren't we? Alright. Well, I'll be back in a second. Well, a second for you. Like, half an hour for me, probably. <laughs> See you around. Alright, we're back. Uh, we uh, replaced Alan with uh, Sue. Uh, the reason we replaced Alan, not Lance, is that while Alan is a lot better, this seems like a very easy map, and uh, Lance um, still has a few levels to go. Uh, he can uh, get quite a bit of EXP fighting these axe guys. Uh, whereas, uh, like, Alan is better, but we really don't need him. Um, this time Roy actually got a perfect level up, which is pretty nice. <laughs> Shanna is in some trouble, she's up against two archers here, and we need to heal her a bit. Uh, so probably Saul is gonna have to go back 
<laughs> just he's just gonna be on this island casting physic like the whole map, I think. Uh, can he reach? Yes, he can barely reach her. Perfect. Uh, let's see, Rutger still got a speed level up, no, a strength level up, uh, so he has 13 strength now. Look at this beast. Uh, and we are ready to recruit Fur, and then we'll be ready to recruit Shin with Sue. Is what I'm guessing, right? Because he said she, he's looking for Sue, pretty much. He pretty much spelled it out. Uh, we do have the Roy Lilina support this time, so... Um, hmm. Roy does get plus two strength from that, which is pretty good. Kill the Poison Axe guy. What a fucking meme weapon. Let's see what he gets. Alright. Okay. It's okay. He really needs more speed, right? And he, I really want to get... Uh, defense and HP and stuff. <laughs> but if he can do some damage, that's nice too. Clarina has been doing some 100% consistent dodge tanking here. Because look at, look at her. She has 70 avoid on the forest. And these guys have 67 hit. They can't... <laughs> they can't hurt her. You can't hurt me, Jack. Uh, we're gonna talk with Fur. We already saw this, so whatever. Uh, he can go up. Uh, I think... He can't really hurt Aster, right? No. 16%, whatever. So, scouting here. Um, let's make sure we don't forget about this. Uh, probably after Shanna's done up there, she will uh, fly Sol to the rest of the uh, the rest of the squad. Let's see status. Turn seven. I don't think this is gonna be a super long map, but we're probably about halfway there. All these guys have iron bows, which is really nice. Steel bows are so much scarier in this game because of the uh, triple effectiveness thing. So how do we do here? Uh, she does a fuck ton of damage against him, and he barely hits her, so I don't think he's going to attack her. Is she good? Um, obviously compared to Rutger, no. <laughs> she's, uh, she's mini Rutger, pretty much. Hmm. I wonder if we're gonna use her. Uh, probably not. Probably not. Let's see, we are still trying to level up Roy. Uh, these guys don't actually overlap their attack range. How uh, sloppy of them. Let's pull him with Lance. Lance probably kills him. Uh, here... He'll probably attack the Reed, right? But let's see what he does. This will be funny if he attacks someone else. It will be funny. Sue can go get Saul, maybe? I don't know. He's so far behind. Like, even if, uh, oh shit! Oh fuck! What does he have? Short bow. Speed 14, huh? I didn't see him. What the hell? I don't think he cares about fur, right? Who is he gonna attack? He only has 14 power. His crit is 15, that's not too high. Probably he doesn't crit, right? Uh, against Noah, for example, he has 9 crit, so most likely he doesn't, but he could. Um, can we block him somehow? Will he attack Sue? I mean, uh, he might, he really might. I don't trust this game. Um, let's just make sure Sue can recruit him next turn. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, yeah. So we're going we're going to reach it. We just have to hope he so he doubles Noah, right? 14 power. Uh 7 damage times 2. If he gets crit, he dies, but he's probably not gonna get crit. I don't think he will hit fur. We'll have 50-50 hit approximately. He doesn't double Astor. He doesn't double Lance. Uh he doesn't double Marcus. Let's turn on animations for this. There's a small chance we lose, but it would kind of suck if we do. Don't crit me, bro. Alright. He's a little skinny, but a good shot with the bow, is what they said. It's kind of funny that he goes for Kareen. I, I, does the AI, like, understand hit rates? You would think, like, when weighing 
its attack options, they would do something like multiply the damage by the hit rate to determine like how valuable that target is. Uh, oh, that's a really good level up. <laughs> Probably add some extra weight to it if there's a chance you get a kill, right? But they just attack someone... Like, they just attack Clarine, even though they they have a 0% chance of doing anything to her. Which is so silly. It's so silly. Alright. So, let's see if we can get Shin. Probably. Yeah, let's see it. Sue! Shin, what are you doing here? I was looking for you. For me, why? The chieftain told me to. What happened to the clan after I left? We were no equal for Burn. We lost. What happened to my grandfather? He still continues the resistance against Burn. Is that so? I was told by the chieftain to fight and protect you. Then you will fight alongside us? With you? This army is fighting against Burn, like my grandfather. They also saved my life. Then of course. If that is what you desire, then I am at your disposal. Thank you. So, we have a new nomad. Uh, Shin? Oh, it's only level 5. These are pretty crazy stats for a level 5 guy. Um... He does- he seems alright. Seems alright. We might use him, actually. Um, yeah, we might use him. We'll see. Uh, that depends on our- uh, so, like, when we got Sue, it was like, yeah, we have a Nomad, they're kinda cool, but... Are we really gonna use this? Like, <laughs> she doesn't have good stats, man. He has more aid, too. More con and more aid. Got that big horse. Did we... Yeah, we did. Still needs healing. Takes 20 from the archer. And third... Uh, she has a very small chance of that, that's funny. Oh no, now the archer goes into the forest. Well, he was always gonna go into the forest, right? Unless I did. Yeah, I guess I should've went into the forest. Uh, so let's see here. Um, Roy can kill someone. No, he can't kill, but he can't fight someone. He can kill this guy. How does Lance do down here? We have no way of knowing what's down here, right? So we wanna be a bit careful. Wanna be a little careful. Uh, Aster can run here, I think. Here I can save him. One, two, three... I can save him here, too, honestly. Okay, so yeah, there's some dudes here. And all of them can attack these two squares, right? So it's very dangerous to fight this archer. Only the archer is in range of the uh, Aster here. So the archer probably moves and attacks him. And he's really not very scary. 19 power... 7 defense takes 12, that's whatever. I don't think that really matters. Uh, if, um... Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yep. Yeah. No, staff, heal. Very nice. So we've used like 3 heals, so, uh, 47 more before <laughs> we're at the rank. Let's see, uh, if Lance goes here, like, how does he actually do? He doesn't kill this guy, so yeah, no way he can fight. No way he can fight here. I think we just have Astor pull this guy one tile closer, and then we'll assault him. Uh, back this up with uh, Big Man Deke here. Uh, use the Rapier. Very nice. It would be cool if they just made a game where they just let the Lord promote or whatever. Like, would that be such a big problem if the Lord could promote? So what will this guy do? I kind of want Roy to kill him. He probably attacks... Um, he would kill Noah because of the... Um, uh, the thing. The poison. The poison. The poisons are to blame. I think I'm worrying too much about who kills this guy, like... But this is so good for Roy. 
<laughs> this is so good for Roy. He can only attack these guys. Like, what is he gonna do? Attack Sue? Maybe he will. 18 power, 5 defense. Um, I think Poison does 1 to 4, right? So she wouldn't die. Noah could die to Poison, so just put him here and heal him. But, like, sh I'm pretty damn sure he goes for Clarine again. Just in case, do this. Alright. Uh, we don't know what's up here, so let's back off a little bit. Yeah, he attacks Roy this time. Rapier broke. I wonder if Roy doubles him. Probably not. Poison axes have, like, no weight. So he didn't go one tile up, but he's still one tile closer to us. Alright. So now we finally... We can check out the vendor. They do have heal staves. Oh, I have, like, no money. Oh, I didn't bring the stuff I have to sell. Uh, interesting. I'll, um... Good thing I brought Merlinus. <laughs> Good thing I brought Merlinus. So we'll need to get some of his items up here. Good thing Shauna can fly, right? Good thing indeed. Let's hope there are no reinforcements here. Just attacking the good man. Roy does not double, but that's uh, it's fine. So Astro, did he get hit? It didn't. So Deke will block the way. Uh, <laughs> let's see, can we trap this guy? Yes. We can also just uh, attack him. I think he keeps attacking Astor, or he'll just shoot Lance or whatever. Oh, nice. Another level up for Roy. Strength, alright. Another heal for Lilina. I want to send uh, Astor up, let's see, one, two, yeah, he'll attack Lilina, but she, he, there's no way he kills her. Speed 8. Uh, he does 19 part, yeah, there's no way he kills Lilina, even if it hits her. He can't kill Roy either. Uh, so I want to make sure this area is safe, right? I'm going to pop a torch here, and if there is something in range, I'll just rescue Clarine. Boring. <laughs> There's one guy here, that's it. But there could be Amber Reinforcement, because it's Fire Emblem 7. Let's do this. Just could have dropped right through here, probably. Uh, Merlinus needs to be get to the shops, right? I do have some items I want to sell. Uh, Marcus can go down here and make sure Saul gets here safely. What do I do with Burr? I don't know. Does she need the sword? I mean, probably not. Eventually, Rutger will use it, probably. Oh, there's a Berserker as a boss. Deke gets to see some action this map. Obviously EXP on him is not a priority right now because he gets so little from fighting these guys. But we'll still use him like when he's useful. But, uh, <laughs> that's not really true because it's like he could solo this map. Uh, so, so we're not going to let him be that useful. But we will use him. We have very little money. So, we need to prioritize only good items, you know? Uh, or only the items we actually mm, plan to make use of. So, we need another heal staff for Lilina. Actually, two is what we're gonna need. Uh, we'll see what heal staves actually cost. Uh, what do we do here? I guess we just attack. 
die. How does Lance do? Uh, takes 15. Uh, I don't think they have a zero hit on him, and they would kill him if they hit, so we'll just wait here. No need to take, like, big risks or anything. Uh, Rutger can... Uh, what about this guy? Let's see if he's still 18. 18 magic damage. How does Green take that? Uh, she takes pretty well. Only gets hit for 7. Is this the time to use Shin? Probably not. Uh, bait with Clarine? <laughs> Interesting maneuver. But there's no point. We'll, we'll just move Rutger up at this point. Let's see. Yeah, stand him here. They can kill this guy with Steel Sword. Uh, we want to get... So, like I said, the goal here is to get Merlinus up to... Uh, the goal is to get Merlinus to these uh, shops. Oh, I can't... I guess Merlin is just gonna go here. Oh, wait, what? He can't stand on the water? What the hell? I did not know that was a thing. Okay, let's check out the boss. This is Scott, the Waz. Uh, <laughs> that's, uh, that's a pretty scary crit rate you got there. 65? Oh boy. Uh, good thing he only has 90 hits. I'm pretty sure we can. Wait, no, Rutger can't get to 90 avoid, but, uh, um, who is the best avoid? Rutger. Uh, well, we're gonna fight this guy with Rutger, and, um, we'll see what we can do. We'll see what we can do. Uh, pick up, uh, Burr, I guess. Get rid of these guys. So it's interesting that this is the first Fog of War map, and the enemies are extremely weak, so I guess that's how they introduce the uh, mechanic to you. They let you fight really weak enemies, because it would be unfair to just overwhelm you in your first Fog of War map. I guess that makes sense, right? I mean, it makes sense to me. So let's see here. He already has S rank swords. Uh, let's see if we can one shot this guy. We cannot. And then Lance can get some action here. He's uh, very healthy indeed. Man, swords are really fucking good in this game. I feel like they're the best weapon type of the physical ones. So, let's see, what do they have here? Armory. Um, is there anything here I need? Uh, I might need one more steel sword. I think I do. Maybe two steel swords. How much does a heal staff cost? Only 600. I can actually do all the shopping I need right now. Uh, let's visit the villages first, then. Let's visit the villages first. Uh, Aster, can you walk on the water? Interesting. Hmm. Oh, they actually can't move here. Uh, you want after going up here? Uh, this is so clogged. What am I doing? There might be ambush bombs from the ports. Uh, Shin, can you help? No? Merch, take. What can we sell here? Let's see. Uh, red gem. Is that it? Is that all we can sell? Shin could use this, maybe. I forgot to check his ranks. Uh, I don't think we want to sell any of these weapons. <laughs> sell the Durandal. The Light Brand is probably useless. But it is cool. Let's hold on to it. I don't think we really need a lot of money right now. Either way, if we find other shops later where we really need uh, to buy stuff, we can just sell stuff then. This is bow rank D. Okay, not great then. Uh, I guess we just kill the mage. 
and then let the Axe guy suicide. Rutger still gets decent EXP, even though he's level 16. Uh, Halberd hit 72. Uh, he's gonna have like 19 hits. Um, it doesn't one shot. Uh, let's check out the villages. You saved us! Are you with the resistance? No? Then you just did it out of the goodness of your heart. As I'm sure you've seen, these islands are swarming with pirates and bandits. There's nothing we can do out here. But word is the resistance is waging battle in the western part of the isles. Tell them we'll all move to the mainland. They don't have to worry about us. Alright. Restore stuff. Send to Merlin's restore. Range 1. Alright. Wait, what? You can only go to one village? What? Did this village all go close? No? Why can you only go to one village? Is this like one big village, but they didn't draw the graphics for it, or is this like... You, you just have to know which one gives you which item, and then, uh... And, and then just get that one. Uh, that seems really stupid. Alright, I guess Shanna's uh, quest for the rest of the map is to just uh, buy some heals and uh, a couple seal swords. We can use Shin here. He holds Aster, right? No, he holds uh, Fur. We can drop Fur up here, probably. I don't think there's any way she can die. Famous last words. Alright, uh, do we give Shin some EXP? I mean, if we're gonna use an archer, I know there's a legendary weapon that is a bow, right? If anyone's gonna use that, it's gonna be Shin, probably. Like, I can't really see anyone being a better archer than this. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna get an Orion's Bolt eventually, right? So let's uh, level him up. Oh, he got so much EXP from that. It's gonna be easy getting him to 10. Yeah, it seems pretty good. Let's, uh, let's go for it. What do these two bozos do? So I need to reach this. Deek can do this easily. Um, seems very scary spreading my guys this thin. Um, Aster holds the gem. Use a heal. Very nice. There are probably more enemies down here that Roy could maybe fight, but... But yeah, you can check here how many enemies there are. Probably not. <laughs> there are only six enemies left, after all. Uh, I'm gonna have Deke lead the charge, because I think there's pretty much no chance he can die here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so he needs uh, a couple more turns to reach it. Uh, let's see. Astor goes here. He's gonna reach this next turn. While Shanna can go here. And she can get two steel swords, I guess? Uh, how long are we gonna keep using iron swords? Get on the, another iron sword. Uh, I don't think we need more axes, but there are gonna be, uh, uh, no, I don't think we need more iron axes. So let's see here. Um, so this is where the end game of the map is. But I can't see anything. <laughs> so obnoxious. I don't want to, like, charge in. We can go here, I'm pretty sure. He has a hand axe, but oh, we, if we fight him at 2 range, it's not that scary, right? So the rest of the enemies are probably around this village. I don't think the torch does anything this turn. Oh, that's a guy! Steel Sword 19, how much speed does he have? 12. Doesn't double Shin. Doesn't double Noah. What's this matchup like? Uh, not great. It's not gonna kill anyone, but what if there's someone here? What if they both gang up on Shin? I think this guy will surely go for Noah. I mean, we can guarantee he goes for Fur, right? 
that that that's been the use of the Wudao because we can't unequip items here. Yeah. Um, so how much does he do to Shin? Nineteen. Eleven. What are the odds that someone comes here and does like nineteen damage to him? He would need uh, eight more power than this guy, so twenty-seven. I steel axe, but this guy is thirty-seven. Avoid. He have thirty hit against him. I mean, if we put her here, like, she's not gonna get hit by a Steel Axe, and she's not gonna get hit by this guy's Hand Axe either, right? Minus 15 hit, yes, uh, is 75, 65, uh, 14 displayed hit against her. Like, I don't think it happens, but if it does happen, she just dies, right? 21 incoming, 22 incoming against her, she takes 18, and she gets killed by this guy. Uh, just put her here, make sure she's not attacked by, um, if there is someone here. I imagine there's someone here, right? One, two, three, four, five. If he has a hand axe, he could reach fur, but that's very unlikely. But it's po what if there's someone in here? Uh, then they can't attack her, probably. So I'll, I'll, I will park fur there. I will. Uh, let's turn on animations, because this might be sick. We do need to get Roy to the throne. Uh, Merlinus can go wherever. Let's actually go to this house and see what they say. Maybe they will help me understand if I why I could only go to one of the villages. Is it like some sort of rivalry, like east side, west side, like these, they hate each other? Uh, do we need to carry Roy? I guess we do. Reinforcements, and they are ambush reinforcements. And he goes for Marcus. What a, <laughs> it's a brave man. Oh, Marcus doesn't double anymore. End of an era, fellas. Imagine this guy fucking crit fur. What is her pose? The hell is her pose? She looks like twenty percent more distorted than Rutger. visit this house. Oh, this pirate might be the one going for the village. Might be. Okay, vendor. Let's buy uh, two heals and sell the red gem. We'll buy... We don't need to... Oh, there are torch items. Oh, this is really good. We'll get two of these. Because we can actually put these on thieves, and that's why they're so good. We are out of fire tones, but do we need them? Uh, probably not. Uh, it, it costs 420, and it's the blaze it tome. Like, we'll get it. We'll get it. And Shanna will visit this house, see what happens. Nearby villagers are all deserting the Isles for the mainland. It's very sad, really. If you want to visit, you'd best do it quickly. You won't have time to go to both, so you'll have to decide. Oh. Okay, so you just have to know which which item is in which village, right? You just have to know. Uh, let's see, Shin does how well? Not super well. Uh, his crit rate is 8. Uh, 2 crit. Eh, we don't like this. We just iron bow him. So we need to get someone tankier than Noah up here. Like Marcus. Uh, actually, if we give him a lance, which we can't do, because Marcus only has a silver lance that he can't use. 
then he would have a bit more avoid, but uh, whatever. Mm, we could rescue drop Marcus in front. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. So let's see, uh, Rutger moves forward. He's not gonna die to a hand axe, no matter what, right? Staff, uh... Yeah, we'll cast Torch. This staff is completely useless anyway. It would be interesting if you could hide in bushes like you can in Advance Wars. Uh, so he can attack these guys, it doesn't matter. He can't do much damage to Corrine. She has dummy thick resistance. Uh, can Brody kill this guy? No, but... Uh, how much damage does this guy do to Lilina? 10. Uh, let's just make sure Saul is not in this range. Ah, uh, Physic. No, he doesn't need Physic. Critical! No crit. Roy gets quite a bit of crit from the support with Lilina, which is kind of cool. Uh, let's equip the Thunder. Oh, we can finally have a chance to use the Secret Book. There we go. Uh, Merlinus. Uh, now I'm a little scared because now I know there are ambush reinforcements somewhere. That's reinforcements. Finishing move. Oh yeah, I should have swapped them up. I should have had the Deco to the village and Lance fight the pirates. Because Lance gets much more EXP here. Oh, he actually got hit <laughs> by the meme weapon. Okay, level up. This does seem like a very good place to get some EXP for Roy. I would like him to get better levels than that, though. <laughs> oh shit! They can both attack in the same turn. Yes, critical! It would be very funny if Roy killed the boss, but that's not gonna happen. I wonder if it would be a good idea to have Roy get EXP whenever he sees us. Actually, wouldn't it be interesting if Roy always got a full level whenever he sees? Maybe the fog didn't stop you, but you must be in rough shape at least. I'll finish you off! No, this was a very easy map, actually. Interesting, so even if he crits Rutger here, he doesn't kill him. Though the mage would finish him off. Hmm. Wouldn't that be interesting, right? If, uh... Roy, if Roy, because Roy always has to seize, he always like gets 100 EXP when he seizes. There's no way you double Noah, right? The mages aren't very fast in this game. He gets 100 EXP and then he gets like exactly plus one to all stats. I think that could be interesting. That could be interesting. Uh, let's have Deke go here. Uh, what if there's a bandit here? There's no bandit there. How does he do? Uh, he does well. He's not gonna die. In before he gets hit by three 18 percenters in a row. <laughs> Let's get this village. Uh, we are done here. Uh, let's move Roy up here. Does Shin have dialogue with the boss? Possibly. Iron sword this guy, and then short bow him. Wait, seven plus seven. Iron bow. Let's see if Sue hits. Very nice. Now let's see if all the other attacks hit as well. I did let Sue hold on to all the bows, because I figured I wouldn't use any other archer. Like, I wasn't planning on using her, but if I was gonna use an archer, like... If a bow was going to be used, it was going to be used by Sue. But at this point, I think Shin is, bar is probably the only archer we're gonna use. The archers of archers. So now this guy will suicide on Marcus. That's not what we wanted. Um, how much do we care about that? Not that much, right? Uh, let him have it. Let him. Uh, 
Uh, Rutger kills the mage. Hope we get another hero crest soon so Rutger can promote too. We can't move Clarine forward yet. Have these scrubs down here. We can move this far. Heal. Oh yeah, the heal animation song. Let's see, do we want to heal more? I guess. Merch, take, uh... Oh, we didn't... Oh, he has to heal staves. I see. Uh, whatever. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ah, uh, whatever. We're just not gonna heal. There's so many reinforcements now. Oh, <laughs> the pirate goes back to the fort! What a fucking nerd. Okay, nice. Lance, the master. The master of criticals. Oh, there's a bow. There's a bower. So let's see here. Uh, Lance can go here, right? Is this tile bad? No, it's just planes. Uh, do they all have hand axes? They do. Well, let's make sure this guy doesn't get away. They have such terrible hit against Lance, I'm just gonna let him do this. Even though it's technically risky. This whole area is basically pirate territory. They take everything from us. Re resist, you say? I thought I said racist. <laughs> it's of no use. They can do whatever they want because of their numbers. We can't fight against them like the resistance force. And for some reason, that grumpy old fart gave me a silver sword. Uh, we'll send this to Merlinus for now. Like, D can use it, but I really don't think he's gonna need it for a while. Like, he one-rounds everyone with iron weapons anyway. Uh, so let's see, can Shin do anything here? I don't know if there are more enemies here. Uh, he does well against this guy. What does he do here? Uh, seven. How does Rutger do? Uh, might kill on accident. Uh, doesn't double. Oh, interesting. Just hit his speed cap, after all. Uh, then so. Uh, uh, actually parking Shin here might not be a good idea, but this is fine. I think this is fine. Oh, okay. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> Oops. So how does Shin do against the boss, actually? 38 hit, 13 might. Uh, that's not the scary part. The scary part is the 26 crit. It's very unlikely he crits because he has to hit first, but, you know, we don't want to risk it. We don't want to risk it. Uh, Astor can go up here, uh, we will be able to rescue drop to the throne, like, when the time comes, so... We'll let him keep fighting here. We'll let him keep fighting. Staff rank for Lila now, so how many staves staff uses this? This is five staff uses, right? Is that really one tenth? No, it was 7 plus 4, I think. So that's 9 staff uses. So almost a fifth of the way. Um... Hmm. I am going to pop a torch. Like, oh, this guy could hurt Clarine, probably. Hmm. It's really annoying that I don't know how many enemies there are here. And where they are, if there are any. Skill, speed, luck, rest. Nice. So there doesn't seem to be anyone here. Right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So if someone's here, Shin could possibly die. But they would have to do 19 damage to him. I think that's so unlikely. 
If I attack first, though, that is a bit riskier. So we're gonna leave him here. Uh, Burr and Noah can stand here, see if they support. Uh, I don't want her here because she'll just get in the way. I guess we can do this. <laughs> Uh, put Shanna here so she's ready to rescue Drop Roy or whatever. Yeah. Mark the support bonus. Am I doing anything else this turn? Uh, probably not. This guy can attack Roy or Shanna, so he's gonna attack Roy. More pirates! Oh, it actually attacks in melee range. Interesting. I mean, I'll take that. I mean, this is the picture of a knight, right? Just standing on the shore, just... <laughs> just eating the pirates. Strength is really good for Lance. He doubles most things already, and you saw, like, he uh, was two damage short of killing uh, the pirates. But now he will actually one-round them. So that one strength... Is uh, it goes double on lands, you might say. So those two attack in melee, but they will also retreat now that they took so much damage, I think. Oh, of course he attacks Rutger. So now we can ride ahead with uh, Clarine, because uh, we are able to rescue her if needed. So there's no one here, good to know. Eagle, go check out this house. Lance still hasn't taken any damage. So, how do we do here? Uh, very small chance that we kill. I think we're just not gonna worry about it. Short bow. Oh. Nice. That was a very FE6 emblem uh, turn. <laughs> HP and strength. Well, strength is a good stat. Let's see, there we go. That's uh, that's a very good Roy level up. Holy shit! It's kind of mean when Lilina just fucking teases Roy that you can't use the Durandal, you fucking scrub. <laughs> I mean, he, he kind of earns it, right? Like he is a scrub. There's no, like, ranged weapon in this guy, no. Uh, we can give uh, Lilina a new heal staff. How do we kill this guy? I don't know. Maybe we just use the Wudao. Uh, I don't think we want Fur fighting him at all. But we could possibly have her give the Wudao to Rutger for that insane crit. I guess it's only 10 more than the killing edge, like it's not that big of a deal. It would be very poetic to have, uh, to have Burr kill the boss with the weapon he wanted to kill her for. I think we're done with everything, right? Uh, there are six enemies, one, two, three, four, five, yeah, I see all the enemies. Now there are more enemies, great. Wait, he goes back to heal, but it doesn't even go on the fort, it just goes in between because it was occupied. What a scrub. I actually prefers attacking Shanna. That's how Stroy Stroy. That's how Stroy wrong has become. Fucking ranged attacks. Come at me, you fucking belt weights. Does he actually go all the way back to the fort? No, he's not gonna go anywhere. <laughs> so how are we doing on staff rank? Probably not great, that's 11 uses I think. Yeah, so... Staff rank is slow in this game. Oh fuck, she's so bad! 
She's so bad against him. There we go. There's so much mist here. In these conditions, you can never know if someone is waiting to pound. Storage can be very useful, even if you have an eagle eye thief with you. So, at least in FP7 and FP8, you can stack Torch Vision with Deep Vision. I don't think this is gonna happen, honestly. Uh, she's not gonna kill him anyway. But I do wanna see the dialogue. I do wanna see the dialogue. Uh, if they have any. I also wanna see if Shin has any dialogue with him. It's a little scary attacking with both of them, right? <laughs> what if he crits one? We'll just take the risk, that's the bandy way to play, right? Oh, it doesn't say anything? How disappointing. It doesn't have dialogue with any of them, really? Alright, it's, uh... You know what time it is. It's, uh, Rutgering time. Time to Rutger all over those guys. Let's see, Shin is here. He might attack Shin again, or he might not. Ooh. That's not... Great enough, really, is it? Hmm. So, like, the danger here is if we get crit, right? Even though that's really unlikely to happen, that is the that is the only danger here. Uh, pick up Shin so he can't like be in the way in any way. So he can't he can't be <laughs> he can't be hit, and then we'll just do this. What are the odds that we die? Extremely low, that's... that's what. Hiya! Alright, uh, so the enemy probably dies uh, next enemy phase. So I think we actually... oh right, we can't rescue drop Roy now. So we want to see his next player base. I didn't realize Rutger was going to make that short work of him. So, well... Uh, we're gonna lose a turn here, but who cares? Come on, Scott the Waz. Pick your killer axe and kill the sucker. Oh, finally got hit. Now I'm a little nervous. What if it gets hit again? <laughs> that would never happen. Critical strike. Meme axe. Stabby stabby. It's kind of cheap to farm reinforcements, you know. Alright, the hand axes don't even kill them. They have to hit twice with their 16 ass hit. But you know, when since they hit him once with those shaky hit rates, uh, kind of kind of gets the heart pumping a little bit. It really does. Oh ho! Finishing move. Who in the leave are you? You are no ordinary army. That's right. It's Rutgering time, fellas. Strength, 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 strength. Yes. <laughs> I don't know what Rutger's averages are, but I feel like this Rutger is pretty insane. So Roy can't reach this guy no matter what he does, right? Um, let's see... I guess we don't need animations anymore. So we're not going to be able to seize this turn because we messed up. Um, but like, whatever. Whatever. Uh, just get some EXP on these homies. Uh, Lance can't really counter here, so we'll just put him here. Pop a vulnerary. Finally get to use this thing. Uh, Roy goes here. Uh, then we have to rescue drop with uh, 
Let's see, he needs to... This has an extra movement cost, so one, two, three, four, five. Roy needs to stand here. Uh, yeah, we have to use Shanna, right? No, I can risky drop the Rutger. And then just spawn reinforcements from the <laughs> from the castle. Bonk. Another heal. Alright, so we're almost there, baby. We kinda of first tried this map. We didn't die. But we did have to restart twice because we didn't know that we needed certain units to recruit the uh, new guys on this map. Would be cool if Shanna got more strength. But like, my Rutger, he has 14 strength, 20 skill, 20 speed. I think he usually gets... Uh... <laughs> I feel like my Rutger and Deke, like, they have to be super blessed, right? There's no way they're actually this good. There's no way they're supposed to be this good. This is just too much. Oh, fuck. My, uh, controller unplugged again. Alright, one second. Alright. Uh, so I had to restart the emulator. I used the save state. Like, who cares? We're on the- <laughs> we're on the last turn anyway. Pretty sure nothing can stop us from, uh, winning here. I say as I shall true <laughs> as I shall do my best to not win. Ah, interesting. So Lance actually can't one round anyone here because of how they rolled their stats. Deke will level up from this, so let's go. No, he already leveled up. That's right. That's right. He got that insane level. Uh, Lance will get some exp from this, so why not? Uh, Shan, I can get some EXP. Can Lilina heal anyone? She can heal Marcus. Heal Reno. I don't think we have any new supports. Nope. I feel like Sin and, Sh uh, Sin and Sh Shin and Sue should have a fast support. Maybe they do, I don't know. Uh, so we did everything right. Uh, 19 turns, that's not too bad, I think. Alright, cease. Easy map. Merlinus appears the enemy was trying to ambush us. They must have known we were coming. I think there's no more... Uh, I think there is more to this than we realize. That's right, maybe that Ethereum guy is actually evil. <laughs> the evil Sir Douglas. Darth Douglas. You're right, clearing out the bandits may be more difficult than expected. Ever since Burns' uh, aggressive behavior started, the leap has changed. I don't even know what to expect. Dragons appearing, Burns' sudden invasion, the collapse of the Lycian League. Everything happened so suddenly. In the end, I suppose all we can do is take it one problem at a time. Now, where do we go from here? Let's head west. West? I heard there's a resistance group base there. They're fighting the bandits to protect the villagers. Where did you, he where did you hear this? They said that in the village, didn't they? Uh, they may have information on what's going on in the Isles. Indeed, we need a lead. Is the dialogue different if you don't go to the village? We need a lead. It seems like a sound idea, Lord Roy. Then let's not waste time. Let's move west. I feel like Merlinus getting all this dialogue with Roy is such a wasted opportunity. Like, why does it have to be Merlinus? Because he's the... Probably because he doesn't actually, like, die-die when he dies. He probably just goes, Oh, I must retreat to protect my wares. But, man, this is the kind of thing I'm talking about. Like, why... Why can't... Uh... Why can't a game like Fire Emblem that has so many characters with permadeath, why can't they just, like... Oh, if everyone's alive, then someone important, like... Uh... Why, why isn't Lilina talking to Roy or something? Like, uh, they're equals, right? They they studied the same stuff. Uh, I, I don't fucking know. Uh, why isn't, like, Marcus talking to Roy? He's the instructor. Or, like, one of the knights, like Lance or Alan. What, like, why is it always Merlin? He's just a fucking shopkeeper. Why is he the one 
always going on the strategy meetings with Roy. What? That's so stupid. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> ah, man. Uh, and one might say like, oh, but then they would have to write like special dialogue for each one. Uh, but I don't think that's really true. Like, there's a game called Chrono Cross that came out, I think, before this game. Uh, maybe not, actually. Maybe it came out around the same time. But that game was on uh, PlayStation 2, I think. Uh, or is it on PS1? Yeah, it's on PS1. Uh, so it was almost certainly before this game. It's a sequel to Chrono Trigger, sort of. And uh, that game has a lot of dialogue that can be said by any character. And the way they did it, they would have, like, uh, little modifications to... Uh, uh, the sentences, so like one character's like accent would like modify some of the words to make it seem like the dialogue was written for the character. But really it's the same dialogue, it's just said slightly differently depending on who's speaking. I think they really could have done the same thing here. I don't know how hard that would be, I'm not a fucking writer and I'm certainly not a Japanese writer, but... I just feel like having Merlinus be the only one who talks is... Uh, I, it's lame. It's honestly just fucking lame. If I ever made a Fire Emblem game, I would, like, put so much fucking effort into making sure that the story can change, depending on who dies. <laughs> that would be, like, the main... that would be such a big draw for me. I, I think part of why people want to play Fire Emblem the way they do, where you always reset if someone dies, you keep everyone alive, you, re you recruit everyone, is that the story doesn't change. Like, if someone dies, like, it doesn't matter. You only lose a unit, the story is the same. Like, they really should lean into the story can change depending on who lives and dies. I think that would make the game much more interesting. Uh, anyway, I have been uh, Von Fahrenheit, and uh, I'll be signing out. Leave a like if you like the video, uh, comment if you have something to say, and subscribe if you're a fan. Uh, never click the bell, respect your own time, get some sleep and drink some water. I know you need it, I can see those bags under your eyes, and uh, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.